Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows two findings in a female aged about 40 years having three children, endometrial hyperplasia and hemorrhagic ovarian cyst. You can see the uterus, urinary bladder and the endometrial thickness is increased. On pelvic ultrasound, endometrial hyperplasia is characterized by a homogeneous increase in the endometrial thickness in the majority of the patients. However, endometrial hyperplasia may also cause a symmetrical or focal thickening with surface irregularity which should raise a suspicion for malignancy. Biopsy of the uterine wire lining is the definite test for the diagnosis of hyperplasia. Women with abnormal bleeding should be evaluated with the pelvic ultrasound. In postmenopausal women, the ultrasound is used to assess the thickness of the lining. Endometrial hyperplasia is a histological diagnosis often made after sampling an endometrium that appears thickened on pelvic ultrasound. So it is, it is defined as irregular endometrium that appears thickened on pelvic ultrasound. It is defined as irregular proliferation of endometrial glands with an increased ratio of gland to stroma. Symptoms of the endometrial hyperplasia include abnormal vaginal bleeding, including bleeding of or spotting between menstrual periods, Dramatic changes in the duration of the menstrual periods, postmenopausal bleeding or heavier menstrual blood flow. In some instances, endometrial hyperplasia may precede cancer of the uterus. The normal value of endometrial thickness during periods it is 2 to 4 mm early proliferative phase it is 5 to 7 mm in the late proliferative phase up to 11 mm and in the secretory phase it is up to 16 mm as in this case the endometrial thickness is 17 point something mm so it is definitely a case of endometrial hyperplasia Endometrial hyperplasia is a condition of female reproductive system. The lining of the uterus, that is endometrium, becomes unusually thick because of having too many cells, that is hyperplasia. It is not cancer, but certain in certain women it raises the risk of developing endometrial cancer, a type of uterine cancer. The thickening of the endometrial lining is rarely over 4 mm in a woman past menopause. In pre-menopausal women, the thickness varies with the phase of the menstrual cycle, but the maximum thickness will be less than about 16 mm even in the secretory phase. Women with an endometrial thickness between 7 to 8 mm had a decreased pregnancy rate, but no significant difference was shown when compared to patients with endometrial thickness in 8 to 14 mm. Implantation is necessary for say, a successful pregnancy and requires heavy, healthy endometrial receptivity. Now you can see again the uh, a cyst, a large hemorrhagic cyst is seen in the right ovary. Hemorrhagic ovarian cyst is an adnexal mass formed because of occurrence of bleeding into a follicular or corpus luteum cyst. Hemorrhage, hemorrhagic cysts are commonly seen in clinical practice. Because hemorrhage into a cyst is usually painful, triggering the patients to consult her physician. Many radiologists use the term complex to describe all cysts other than the totally clear, simple cysts. However, many benign entities are complex, such as dermoid cysts, endometriomas, hemorrhagic cyst, and cyst adenoma.
Having a hemorrhagic ovary in cyst is not a necessary, necessarily a problem. Many times these cysts do not cause symptoms or, or, and are often found during a pelvic examination that is done for another reason. If the cyst is small or medium sized and is not causing any pain or other symptoms, then your doctor is likely to will recommend you monitoring it. A hemorrhagic or a ruptured ovarian cyst is a common cause of acute pelvic pain in, a, in an afebrile premenstrual woman presenting to the emergency room. This can occur during pregnancy also. Hemorrhagic cysts are normal in ovulatory women, usually resolving within eight weeks. They can be quite variable in appearance, however, and can be confused with an ovarian endometriomas. In addition to pain, symptoms of the ruptured ovarian cyst can include bleeding from the vagina, nausea, vomiting, tenderness in the pelvic or abdominal area, weakness, feeling faint, fever, increased pain while sitting. Ovarian cysts are fluid-filled sacs that can develop in or an person's ovary. The cysts are usually benign, which means they are not cancerous and often clear up without any treatment. But they, they get large in size than the other kind options are available. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.